What's going on, drivers? It's Jay Rich back again. It's a Saturday. It's cold. It's rainy. It's foggy. And I'm out here doing it for you because I love you guys that much. Let's get into it. Three reasons why you would slide that fifth wheel forward or backwards. Now, number one being the most important is weight distribution. Per the DOT standards, you can only be so heavy per axle on your truck and trailer. That being 12 on the steers, 34 on the drives, and 34 on your trailer tandems. So you have to get that right, and sometimes you have to slide that, that trailer forward to get the weight onto your steer axle. Because most of the time, your steer axle may only be nine or 10,000 pounds with a full loaded trailer. So your drives might be over by, say, 2,000 pounds. You can slide that fifth wheel forward Get that extra weight on those steer axles. Get them off your drives. That way you don't get a ticket when you go into the scale house. <clears throat> a couple things, excuse me, a couple things to remember is that certain states, when you go into the scale house, you have to be right on the money. They don't give you an opportunity to fix it, like the state of Georgia. They don't give you an opportunity to, to slide your fifth wheel or to slide your trailer tandems. You have to be right when you go in there. You don't get a, a chance. State of Alabama, they give you one opportunity to fix it. Most time, I, actually all the time, I hit it on the money where it needs to be and haven't gotten a ticket from, from the state of Alabama on not being able to fix the weight on my truck or the trailer. Number two reason why you would slide your trailer forward or backwards. And that is mainly for people like me that have like a wet line or something like that. I've got customers with trailers where their wet line does not reach all the way to my truck with the trailer slid all the way back. So I have to slide that forward in which I never have a problem with because I'm putting that extra weight on my steer which my steers are pretty light. They're generally between 92 to 9,500 pounds, depending on how much fuel I have. So I've got room to slide forward any given time. But this wet line right here, it has to be able to reach my truck for me to be able to dump. So therefore, I'm gonna slide this forward a little bit. Number three, I think, yeah, one, two, three, three. Number three, here we go. Number three is comfort. All trucks are different, and some trucks ride, ride better with maybe the weight push forward or the weight push to the back. It just happens like that. So comfort is is in there, but I'm not going to sacrifice getting a ticket just so I can save a few bumps in the road. So be careful thinking, I got to have it right here and all that, yada, yada. No, you need to have it where... You're not going to get a ticket from DOT or something like that. So let's go on and flip the camera around. Let's take a look at my setup and all that. And we'll be back. All right, guys, this is my setup. Now, if you look all the way back, is right between the drives. That's all the way back. Most trucks I've driven, the track right here is set in the middle also, but not on this truck. It's up forward. So therefore, one thing I have to keep in mind when sliding my fifth wheel forward is that I'm not going to hit my landing gear with the mud flaps. It's pretty close as it is. Uh, it's not really any danger, but if I slide too far forward, I could hit that landing gear and tear the mud flaps off. So when I'm sliding forward, I'm usually going between this bolt and this bolt right here is a good spot for me to get the weight all the way up on the tandems. Now you see my wet line right here. We follow the wet line. It goes all the way up to the truck and connects here. This wet line has to be up off the deck. I need it off my air hoses because if it sags down, catches this glad hand, flips it up. Guess what? I hit the brakes right in the middle of the intersection. That's no good. So that wet line has to stay up off of everything else and and that keeps everything in good order where you're not scuffing up catching on the frame tearing up hoses and stuff so that's another reason i'm going to slide that fifth wheel forward is so that that wet line can reach 
And like I said, the steer axles, I'm about 91 to 95, depending on the fuel I have. So therefore, I gotta get the weight off these drives. And my truck rides pretty good. Most trucks ride pretty good with the, with the fifth wheel in between the steers. Just, I can't go back any farther, which is okay. It's not bothering me at all. There you have it, guys. That's three reasons why you would slide your fifth wheel. Now, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. For those of you new, go on ahead, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I very much appreciate your support. I'm Jay Richie, keeping these in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.